Tabrakun, that is uh, Abhijit Chatora, uh, I'm the chairperson of the uh, program of insurance business management at uh, Villa Institute of Management Technology. I started my career uh, with insurance way back in 1986, spent around 25 years in uh, this profession, then switched to academics, and I was fortunate to have served institutions like National Insurance Academy Pune, and also uh, briefly headed Amity Business School, Amity University in Mumbai, and finally came here. Uh, this particular program, the program of insurance business management, is unique in the sense there are only very only two or three institutions, if you name know, properly, that runs this course. And if you look at uh, any 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 institution which runs a course in uh, two-year PGDM course in insurance only, possibly this is the only institution. Other institution call it PGDM only, like an I we call it, calls it PGDM only. But we call it postgraduate diploma in the insurance business management. The course is, uh, duration of the course is two years, and uh, 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 it's split over six trimesters. So we cover about 1,100 hours close to 137 credits. As the course, as you can make out, the course is known as insurance business management. So the component of business management is there. Roughly about 60% of the course component is from insurance. And when I say insurance, it includes life insurance, non-life insurance, which is also known as general insurance. We also cover from uh, uh, reinsurance, agricultural insurance and uh, everything like from actuarial science to analytics and insurance everything is covered in that 60% component of the course and the rest 40% components uh, is pure management where we teach subjects for marketing, finance, operations and uh, HR and OB everything is covered in that. The best part of this particular course when we design this course, we take into account the industry feedback. We, we always try and always make it a point that when we design the course, we, we go as per the requirement of the industry. So when we hold the academic advisory meeting, we call all the experts from industry and also renowned academicians in the field of insurance. And together we speak and together we draft this course. That's the beauty of this course. And we always look at who are the new aspirants, who are the new aspirants, uh, what, are, what are the new requirements of the course. The course is rich, rich and gets richer because of the fact that we have academic partnership with Swiss Re, we have academic partnership with Charter Insurance of UK, Charter Insurance Institute of UK. Incidentally, I'm also a Charter Insurer, and uh, we also have, uh, uh, we are also academic partner with International Institute of Business uh, Canada. We are part of uh, FAIR, FAIR is Federation of Afro Asian Insurers and Reinsurers. And we are also uh, running an um, edu educational partner of uh, NOMA, NOMA is Life Office Management of South Asia and the US body. We, we also conduct examination. Uh, uh, from, uh, on their behalf. So, what do we also want that when they uh, uh, when they do this two years course, they also write examinations designed by Sri Sri, which they comes here and runs the program. And then we also make all the students to go for CI certification, and uh, uh, more than fifty percent of the fees is borne by the institute. Only fifty percent, even less than fifty percent, is borne by the institute. So we are truly a global institution. We, we, we want to invite the best global practices. Uh, that doesn't mean that we do not invite the indigenous best practices. Today, we are a very big industry in the sixth sense. There are 34, 36 you know, life insurance players, non-life insurance players, close to 24 uh, life insurance players. So almost 50 insurance companies are there. And uh, top of it, there are close to 500 to 600 broken firms also. So the industry is looking uh, up, 
uh, it's growing very fast. If I look at the penetration, penetration has not really improved a lot. It's still 3.69. And we, if we have to catch up with, uh, say, with PR China or Japan, we have a long way to really go. We are, we are far off from them. We only contribute about 2% of the total business, uh, world business. And when I look at China and uh, Japan, they, they contribute close to 11.7% by PR China and Japan 86 But the way we have been growing over the period, that, that makes really sense. That makes sense the same, uh, uh, sense of the uh, fact that 2% we are now. And we are looking at somewhere around 2, 3 to 4% in days to come. So if there is a quantum jump and not a 2%, that means the total business that's close to um, 98,000 million US dollars today, that will become somewhere close to uh, 2,000 uh, million dollar US dollar. And that's a possibility. A possibility in the sense the health insurance segment is growing fast. You may be aware of the fact that Ayushman has come in a big way. And most of the uh, states that are going for Ayushman, they, they are looking at uh, uh, insurance company uh, for, for making this Ayushman program very, very successful. So there is a lot of potential to grow. And the way the insurance business in India is growing, we require a lot of professionals, a lot of skilled people. The, the, there is a lot of vacuum in it today because there are only few institutions, institutions of repute. We are the first to start insurance program in India. We started in 2000, way back in 2000, and the then uh, uh, chairman of ID had come all the way from uh, Hyderabad to inaugurate uh, our program. We started as one year program, and slowly over the period of time, we matured and grew, grew and uh, we started two year PDDM course. And the other course is uh, recognized by EICT. We have also have the accreditation from NBA. And our course is equivalent to an MBA degree. Uh, uh, and the equivalence comes from AIU. So uh, this is the only, uh, only course which has the MBA equivalence. And our strategic partner is Sri. We have academic partnership with IBF. Charter Insurance Institute of UK, and plenty of global practices we bring to our courses. And uh, fortunately, at Imbimtech, most of our faculty members, including me, we, we were we spent a sizable time in the industry. And from industry, the transition took place. From industry, we came to uh, academics, full field and academics. And so we bring tons of industry experience along. Uh, that's a part we keep on inviting industry stalwarts, people uh, who really are uh, big names in industry, industry CEOs. We hold up uh, uh, two, three seminars every year, and uh, one particular seminar that we started last year, we call it Colloquium. Almost five to six CEOs every year come. This year, also close to 10 CEOs of different insurance companies were there. And then uh, we also did a round table on Ayushman Bharat uh, just two days before Ayushman Bharat was launched in India. And uh, there are also the best uh, practitioners, academicians, insurance uh, stalwarts, well, our panelists. So these are the ways we keep in touch with the industry. Then we do a lot of research work. Uh, I did a research work for IND sponsored and uh, with another colleague of mine. A lot of interdisciplinary research we uh, promote and we try to build up uh, what we call uh, uh, research temperament among the students. We started what we call Bintic Insurance Lab. One of our very senior faculty member, uh, very respected Professor K.K. Krishnan, under his uh, leadership, we started this uh, uh, lab. And what we are trying to do is through this lab, we are asking the industry and the stakeholders uh, to come and help us. We make our students to go to the uh, field, to people who are marginalized, who are not really privileged. 
go and try to understand what are their insurance requirements and the huge protection gap that exists today. Uh, we make our student first to appreciate that problem and then come out with this solution. And this is how we promote the, the research culture in our industry. So it's a wonderful program in the sense that today, as I said, 50 companies are there. Uh, another 50 uh, companies will be there in another five years time. So 100 companies plus there are booking firms. There are, there are five to 600 booking firms. There, then there are reinsurance companies that are coming in India. They have started operation in India. Then there are the 20 to 25 TPS third party administrator. They are, they are also part of insurance ecosystem. They are also provider of jobs. They are doing great ones. Then we have uh, aggregators. So plenty of them. Then insurance tech companies, plenty of uh, fintech companies. They are all showing great interest. And that's how the industry is going. Now, when I come back and look at uh, how do our students fare, the average practice this year is 8 lakh. We have been able to place almost everybody, barring one or a few students, two, three students. And our uh, uh, placement session is not over. And they have gone to almost all the leading companies. You will name any leading company in private sector in India or leading broker in India. Uh, they have been placed there, and as I said, the average package is close to eight lakh. And uh, in uh, over the period of time, we will see that this will jump very high because the requirement of insurance professionals is huge. When I say insurance professional, it means insurance professionals who know the domain of insurance. They know how what is management also. They acquire analytical skills, and uh, that's how we prepare them. So when I look at the, the, the overall scenario, uh, this is one of the best courses that's available at Pimtech. And not only at Pimtech, uh, you, you go anywhere in India and you find this is one course. Not many sectoral courses are there in India. And we were the first to jump into this bandwagon. And we seized the opportunity, thanks to our director, sir. It was very pragmatic in 2000 when the industry was opening up. He thought, that uh, this is the right time to start a course in insurance, two years course in insurance. And if you follow us in uh, social media or anywhere, you will find BIMTEC insurance program has been doing wonderfully well. In the month of April, we are going to organize a big seminar with Federation of Afro Insurance, uh, Reinsurance, we call it FAIR. And uh, close to 20 to 25 uh, countries will come to India. And uh, that uh, opens up doors uh, for our students, our faculty members in overseas companies. Uh, they'll be interested in our students. Uh, it's not that our students are not placed in overseas country. We have plenty of students placed in Dubai and other places. But when I look at the operation, it's a wide spectrum is wide. And, and uh, the possibility of uh, in our student getting placed in some of the best known foreign companies also is very, very high. Talk of it, uh, in any management course, when you do a course, if you cannot serve the society you leave in, then that course is not complete. When I joined industry way back in 1986, uh, I never knew about industry. And uh, this is the job we got and I have taught in. And today I'm both uh, happy in the sense I joined the industry where I had the opportunity to serve common people. I had the opportunity to wipe out tears from the eyes of uh, people who, who had uh, suffered either death in the family or uh, property loss. And it used to give me a lot of uh, happiness in the sense I always thought that, yes, I'm in an industry where I have been contributing and uh, I'm not only living for myself. So industry, insurance industry gives you that opportunity. You are closer to people. You have to always deal with the customers. You have to come to terms with their problems. And when you are able to satisfy their problems, then you really feel good. Then it's not that you make good money. It's also that you, 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 are, you are living for a good cause. You get a lot of happiness. You get a lot of recognition. What else do you require in your life? So as a... As a uh, uh, as if I look at uh, the industry, 
gives you a lot of opportunity to excel and thrive. So this is a nutshell about the insurance industry and the courses. Uh, there is this call of question from uh, Ravi is Bintik Noida insurance business management worth the fee and what about ROI? Uh, what I can say, what do you pay around close to 11 lakh rupees in two years' time? A uh, bit here and there. And your first year salary is 9 lakh. First year itself, as I said, average. Uh, Salary my students got this year 8 and all my best students got a package of 9 even closer to 10 lakh. So first year's package is close to 9 lakh. And you have done 35 years of life and if you acquire more and more professional qualifications, so sky is the limit. That is what I can say. Uh, uh, possibly no other management program uh, does this kind of thing. You, 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 uh, the industry is so huge. 50 companies are there. 50 companies are today there. And plus you have n number of brokers who also give you employment. You, you get access to brokers from uh, uh, UK, US, the entire Emirates market, Gulf market, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, wherever you go, you, your, our courses has the coverage. So uh, that is what I can say. There is a query by Dikshant. As there is very less college of insurance management, are there any growth in future? But yes, colleges are limited because this is a typical professional course, only people highly equipped in uh, teaching this course requires people with professional equipment, experience, professional qualification, also academic qualification. And this blend of three is very difficult to get. Very, very difficult to get. But in Bentec, we are fortunate, I said in the beginning also. Uh, all my faculty colleagues have spent close to 20 25 years in the industry and uh, then we switched on to teaching so we, we have all the professional qualification as i mentioned that i'm a charter lecturer which is a very coveted degree not only in india elsewhere also so growth is uh, uh, very very high extremely high some of our students from Bentec has become a ceo in a uh, time span of 12 years. I am looking at some of my students, they will go to the middle management in about five years' time. So, if you really study hard and pick up the ropes of this particular course, uh, then your chances of growth is very, very high. I have a question from Rahul Are internship provided by college to a student get PPO offer? Internship is not guaranteed, but we provide. Almost all these students, we provide internship. And uh, PPO, in certain cases, one or two, three PPOs do translate. Not many, but do translate. But even if the PPOs don't translate, insurance program is the first program here, where from zero day to in, in about 20 days, 80 to 85 percent of my students get placed in the best of uh, organizations and companies. PPO conversion is not as high, uh, uh, but yes, uh, two to three definitely gets converted every year. So uh, I look up to some other questions. Uh, coming back to PPO. PPO since uh, even at, uh, in IA Pune, I was part of an IA Pune, PPO conversion was not high there also. But uh, as I said, uh, from zero day to 80% are uh, placed there also. I have a question from Ankit. Ankit asks me what exactly is the calm, uh, kind of work associated with insurance management. Now, when you join an insurance industry, the the, either you become an underwriter, we call it back office job, or you go to the claims management. But mostly in industry, insurance industry, you get uh, marketing sales assignments. And offline, insurance industry 
in, in, a, in a very big number one guys who are, who are very skilled in analytics. So what we did, looking at the industrial requirement this year, we recruited a, a firm run by a very well-known CEO, and uh, we have we, let's continue. This is continuing with my first year uh, students. So we started in tri second trimester. We are continuing in third trimester also. It's a 12-week uh, course imparted to make our student analytically skilled because analytics is another area where most of the jobs are coming. So you get back office, back office in the sense uh, claims, underwriting, claims means underwriting and uh, then uh, uh, data other work. But mostly it's claim, underwriting, these two are very major than finance. In life insurance you get a lot of investment related uh, portfolio uh, also. But sales and marketing are also areas where you get placed. And most, some of our students who are to join marketing, uh, to join marketing profile, they have been really, really doing very well. Uh, I have a question from Dipes. How is PGDM Finance at Vintech and, uh, and its date cut off? Uh, cut off. PGDM Finance uh, uh, is. Uh, uh, it's in a specialization course, it's a good course, I would say. And the, that cutoff for uh, last year was 70%. This year we uh, still have to decide. Uh, we still have to decide. But if, I'll be happy if you uh, ask me questions related to insurance. Okay. Uh, any other question? If you have, or else. Uh, So all that I can say is a fascinating area. Not many people look. There are guys who joined uh, in three years' time. Uh, they 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 are they command a package of twelve to thirteen lakh annually, and in all the insurance, uh, all the IT companies also. Uh, can we expect international interest to yes, uh, yes, yes? We are expecting. As I told you, this year's April, we, we are getting connected with almost 20 to 25 uh, countries. And uh, people are coming from Egypt. I, I, I am in dialogue with Egypt. Uh, and uh, some of the Egyptian companies have shown interest. Uh, so, and some of the companies in Dubai also have shown experience. Bangladesh has shown experience. Bangladesh is a very growing country. So yes, international internship and uh, inter uh, in uh, international placement. Not only the internship, international placement is all also on the card. Uh, I'm very ho hopeful that I expect about twenty percent of my students will be placed internationally also this year. And if that happens, uh, internship will also go up. And as I said today, if you acquire professional degree. Uh, because this is CIA over here. So once you become a charter insurer or a CIA from senior, anywhere in the world you go, you, you get blessed. Akshat has a question, is insurance management, do, do we also able to study market, uh, something about marketing, finance? So yes, yes, yes. The course is known as insurance business management. It's a business management course, essentially. So only 60% courses are insurance because our students get placed in finance area, uh, marketing area. So we almost touch almost all the important subjects of marketing, almost all the important subjects of finance, investment, analytics, right? Everything we cover from OB, HB, you name from operations, decision thinking, everything we cover. So uh, uh, the beauty of the course is known as insurance business management. It's not only teaching insurance. Insurance is dominant, but insurance is not the sole thing. And when also we teach insurance, we in almost all the insurance papers, we relate it with the management component. The whole idea is to produce good managers. When I say insurance professionals, means insurance managers who can handle in marketing, who can handle in finance, who can handle man issues, 
which help people HR institutes who can develop people around them and also in the process get the development. So the entire spectrum of management is covered. I have another question from uh, picture. Is there possibility to be placed abroad in I, I answered this question. Yes, yes, why not? Uh, this year also, uh, I think two or three of our students will uh, be placed abroad. Last year also, two guys got placed in uh, Dubai. And as I said, this those will be taking admission this year. There is a big seminar we are holding uh, with after Asian regions. So close to 2025 countries will be coming. And uh, we are looking for a possibility of placement, international placement and international internship. And I'm pretty hopeful that um, a sizable uh, number of students who are willing, not more of the students are willing to go abroad. Those who are willing to go abroad, but they will definitely get placement. There, there is no doubt about it. If any other questions uh, is forthcoming, possibly I look at that question also. Uh, what are the job profiles offered after insurance business management? So job profiles, <clears throat> like if you go to an IT company, like in Pulsis, you get placed as a software. So what happens? My PGDM student also get placed in as an associate. My IB student, retail student, and this year, if you look at who are the people uh, in Pulsis student, they took from all the department, including insurance. And uh, they are initially placed as associate. So associate is a good position to start career in <coughs> in, uh, in any IT company. That then the profile is management training. So management training is beyond below that we don't go for it. At times we go something higher to management training, but nothing below management training. So what happens when you join as a management training? The profile depends. Somebody looks for operation where you go for insurance operation and insurance operation is uh, huge in the sense like any bank you, you you have to administer policy you have to sell policy you have to administer policy you have to pay claims plenty of jobs are involved so you either you go there it's a back office job we call it uh, or else you are <clears throat> you you get uh, the, uh, an opportunity to go for marketing profile sales profile which is very paying and those who join that profile, they grow up very fast. But if you are in, if you, you come through the insurance domain, because uh, insurance selling is very different, insurance marketing is very different. So anybody who has the domain knowledge of insurance marketing or insurance selling, or he knows about insurance, because when you sell insurance, you have to know insurance. And you cannot know insurance overnight. It, it, it's not, I spent so many years, still there are many areas which I don't know. I still, I'm, I'm a learner. So when you spend about quality time, so you know insurance, then it becomes easier for an insurance student to market the product. And that's where the insurance to, uh, program students, business management program students do really well because they understand insurance. It's not like any other things, FMCG product you're selling. It's very sophisticated product, which requires a lot of understanding of the product. So that's where, uh, the story is so you a lot of profiles you get uh, like uh, <clears throat> uh, if you go to the broker inform you start with the uh, brokers in the fascinating area like you have some international brokers we have in India they are operating Marshall's one AR is that's known as global insurance nowadays plenty of other players are coming and they uh, recruit you at a higher price uh, and some of the companies are looking for actuarial positions uh, that's another opening area. So we have started including uh, we have in our course corporate actuarial science, both as both as elective both, and also as core corporate. So that's another area. Somebody is good in mathematics and statistics, he can think of a career in, in actuary. So he joins a company uh, uh, after two, three papers, they clear if they can clear when they are doing this course also, and then they land up with a cushy job over the period of time they uh, complete this course. Plenty of actuaries have, in fact, worked in the insurance industry, and from there they have become. So the senior most actuary in India is called one Mr. A. M. S. Devan, who was chairman of Life Insurance Corporation of India. 
and he joined uh, at a very low altitude, and then he became an officer, and then he became went on to become an actuary, and then he went on to become chairman of Life Insurance Corporation of India. So that's the gamut uh, of progress in the field. It's a huge gamut of progress. So. Um, uh, plenty of jobs come to you, and uh, as I said, off relation to IT, to analytics is another area. If somebody does analytics, uh, the whole industry will be AI driven. So, analytics profile uh, will go up, and we are uh, giving a lot of importance to analytics in days to come. So that people, you know, those who are doing a course in two years insurance business course, they can take up uh, assignments related to analytics. So, thank you for patiently listening to. Okay, so no, I guess I'm not.